How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to show you how to make this page scrolled indicator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So basically, if I scroll down right here, we see we have a bar on top that will fill up based off the percentage I've scrolled down on the actual web page. So this is quite easy to make and let's do it right now. So I've got this empty document right here with some dummy text inside it. So let's actually add this progress bar to this document right here. So inside the text editor, we currently look like this, an H2 tag and the two paragraphs of dummy text. So let's begin by actually creating the HTML for the actual progress bar on top. Okay, so um, let's create two divs the first one being the actual container for the indicator slash bar. So let's make a new div here for the class of scrolled indicator. Okay, this will be the whole container for the actual bar. Inside here, let's make a new div um, with a class of scrolled indicator dash fill. And this one right here is going to be the actual colored fill for the progress bar. So um, we're actually going to be adjusting the width of this fill based on the amount of scroll the user has done. So that is all for the actual HTML. Now, for the CSS, let's create some styles for these two elements. Okay, we can start with the actual container. So let's target the scrolled indicator class. Okay, inside here. Let's just make the position as being fixed. Okay, so when I actually scroll down, if I scroll down up here, we see um, it stays fixed on the page. So let's make that position fixed. Okay, just like that. This will have a top of zero and a left of zero, meaning it's going to be in the top left corner. All right. Now, let's make the width of this thing 100%. So fill the entire horizontal space of the web page okay for the height let's just say something like 15 pixels that'll do just fine All right now let's just set a background color the background color let's make this um, red for now so we actually see what's happening so let's just save this and refresh the web browser and we get that right there so we can see if I scroll down the bar stays on top so that right there is going to be the container for the actual fill. Okay, so let's just add some padding to the body to push this heading back down. So let's go inside here and target the body tag and give it some padding top of 15 pixels, um, which is the same as the actual uh, height of the indicator. Save and refresh this and we get that right there. Okay, so let's now add some styles to the actual fill. So back inside here, let's now target the class of scrolled indicator dash fill. Okay, this one's quite easy. Let's just give it a height of 100%, all right? And a background color, background color of something like, let's just say blue for now, um, and give it a width of 50%. So now we should see a 50% fill bar on top of the screen. So the height is going to be um, that right there of the container, width being that of the container as well, and just a simple background color. But let's just add um, white to this color um, up here. Okay, let's now save this and refresh. And what do we get? We get that right there. Okay, so we're almost there. Um, we'll just add a border bottom to the actual bar. So up here, let's just say border bottom to the container. One pixel solid and let's make that D, D, D. Okay, so now save this, refresh, and we get that right there. So we can just make the actual fill um, 0% to begin with. So let's just go inside here and make the fill 0%. Okay, seeing this and we get 
and that right there. So the way it's going to work is we're going to use JavaScript to adjust the width property of that fill. So if I was to inspect this right here and um, add some width to the element here, so width of 25% for example, we get that. Let's make that 30, we get that, and so on. 75, we get that. So we can see adjusting the width is going to um, obviously make the progress bar or the indicator fill up. Okay, so let's now manipulate this value right here using JavaScript. So let's refresh this. Okay, inside your text editor, let's add a script tag to the bottom. So let's say scripts down here. Okay, let's first get a reference to the actual fill element. So let's make a new constant. We'll call this one um, scrolled indicator fill okay equal to document dot query selector let's select the first instance of the um, scrolled indicator fill class okay so now this one right here is referring to that fill right there so in the future we're going to say scroll indicator fill dot style dot width equals and then percentage okay so Let's do this right now. Okay, so every time the user scrolls down, we need to actually recalculate um, the percentage that has been scrolled down. So let's add an event listener for the scroll event. Let's just say window dot add event listener scroll. Okay, let's put a function inside here, just like that. Now for now, let's just say console.log scrolling down okay let's save this and refresh the browser and then attempt to actually scroll down in the console whilst to scroll down we get that right there so we can see how this function gets executed at every point of my scroll okay so let's add the logic for this percentage so the first thing to do um, we need to firstly just calculate how much of the page can be scrolled down. So basically, we're going to work out the total width of here down to here. So how much the user can physically scroll down. So we can do this by making a new constant. Let's call this one scrollable. Okay, this is equal to a simple subtraction. We're going to subtract the total height of the actual document content minus the um, the height of the window, and this will give us the amount of scrollable height. So, let's say document dot document elements, okay, dot scroll height, and that'll be the entire height of the actual document and its content, okay, subtracted by window dot inner height and that'll be the height of the actual window so let's just console.log the scrollable scrollable height now let's just save this and refresh the browser and then scroll down 165 so I have 165 pixels of room to actually scroll down like that okay cool so now we have to work out how much the user have um, has scrolled down. So let's make a new constant up here and we'll call this one scrolled equal to window dot scroll y. Alright. Let's just console.log this one right here. So console.log um, scrolled. So this property right here is going to tell us how much the user has scrolled down in pixels. So let's just save this and refresh the browser and test it out. If I was to scroll now, we get that number right there. So I've scrolled down 36.44 pixels out of a total 165 possible. If I was to keep scrolling, eventually we get to 164.44. So we can see now we need to just simply find the percentage of these two values. So let's just firstly assume that the user has scrolled down 100%. Okay, let's make a new variable here. 
and call this one percentage uh, percentage scrolled it equals 100 um, percent this is to actually ensure we always get a value for this um, this scrolled indicator so now we're going to check if there actually is a possibility to um, to scroll down so let's check if scrollable is greater than zero so this says if the user actually can scroll down this is sort of saying is there a scroll bar on the screen so if there is we then calculate how much has been scrolled down so let's calculate that right now let's say percentage scrolled okay is equal to um, a simple math.seal function so let's just say for now though let's just say um, scrolled divided by scrollable times 100 so basically we're going to divide these two um, numbers and then multiply that by 100 and that will give us the actual percentage so let's just console.log the percent scrolled let's save and refresh and then scroll down we get those values right there so we're almost there we've got one two obviously and then um, this works as follows so we can now convert this value from a floating point number like that into a whole number we can do this using math.seal let's say math.seal and then 100 sorry uh, obviously just uh, wrap, wrap that up so now let's save and refresh this one refresh so now we get the actual whole number value for the percentage that has been scrolled down so now we just need to actually assign this percentage value to that element so the reason why I've actually done a default value here is so if I was to just um, make the the browser full okay refresh so here got to actually execute this function let's just let's just execute this right now so copy that and put it down here for temporary use save and refresh so here we get a hundred so we can see why I'm using I'm using this default value to just basically secure our value for the future if that makes sense okay so let's get rid of that right there okay back to normal so now let's just add the percentage to the actual fill element so this is quite straightforward let's just say scrolled indicator fill dot style dot width is equal to and we just say percentage scrolled right, percentage scrolled then the percent sign okay boom so now let's save and refresh hopefully for one last time zoom in refresh this and scroll down okay interesting back inside here let's see so what does it say can't set property style of now so this hasn't worked ah, okay cool let's put a dot right there so targeting that class save and refresh this and now we get the final result right there okay and that's how you can make your page scrolled indicator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.